The Payment Receipt Entry function enables you to enter various types of customer receipts such as payments, prepayments, discounts, and adjustments using checks, credit cards, petty cash, wire transfers, and miscellaneous cash. Depending on which payment transaction you select, the fields will vary. Customer payments and discounts can be associated with an existing customer invoice, while customer cash, prepayments, and adjustments do not require a customer invoice. Let's take a look at adding customer receipts in your system. To enter a customer receipt against a customer invoice or statement, select the Payment Receipt Entry function under the APAR Accounting menu. I'm going to select the Check Receipt, so I'll come down and find the RECCH entry screen. To create a new receipt, click New in the right-hand panel, and then enter your site. Enter the customer that gave you receipt payment, and then enter your accounting date. This is the date that will get posted to the general ledger. You can enter a description for your entry transaction. and enter your bank. And then enter in the amount. We received $6,000 from customer training customer. You can enter in the customer check number. And then in the left list, come down to the open items drawer. Notice you'll see your customer invoices. Select the invoices that you want to pay. Notice they'll come into the grid below. Once you have your invoices selected, click Create. The next step is to post the transaction. You can always click on the milestone if you can't remember where you are in the process and notice that the next step says Bank Posting. I'll click Post. Click OK. My batch has been posted. I can click Close. I have no errors. And then if I want to look at the accounting document that was created, I can click on the accounting document under the Zoom. There is my bank receipt repost. And here is my general journal that was created. To enter a customer miscellaneous receipt, select the Payment Receipt Entry function under the APAR Accounting menu. This time I will select the Miscellaneous Cash Receipts, the RECMI. To create a new receipt, click New in the right hand panel. Enter in the customer site. Enter in the, the business partner or the customer. Once again, the accounting date is the date that gets posted to the general ledger. You can enter in a description for your entry reference. And then enter in your bank. And this time they gave a $250 prepayment. You'll want to enter in the customer's check number as well. In the bottom grid, we'll select the pop-up view, and we'll enter in the receipt attribute. We'll enter in the amount. If we have any analytical information, we can go ahead and enter in analytical information. And when that information is entered in, we can close out of our grid and create our receipt. We can then check our milestones to see what our next steps are. Our next step is to do a bank deposit and then do a bank 
posting. We can't post without doing a bank deposit, so our next step would be to create a bank remittance. In this lesson, you have learned that customer receipts can be entered and applied to a customer invoice, or customer receipts can be entered using miscellaneous cash and not associated with an invoice.